everybody, and welcome to, wow, I think this is episode 12 of the Casually Avid Gamer plays Seven Days to Die. Uh, I'm still having fun, despite being slaughtered by both bear and gravel, I'm having a blast. <laughs> so, the name of the game today is, uh, still, and for the, probably the next couple of episodes, it's going to be Resource Gathering and Exploration. In our last episode... Uh, we found a cave and the in in the transition between the hilly biome and the mountain the snowy mountainous biome or snowy hills I forget the exact name of the biome but we we found another cave in there uh, it's hard to navigate but uh, it did it look like it had some good resources in there so I am going to spend some time now I'm gonna head up that way and and see if I can't dig up some resources but first we are at level 18 and our iron pick is at quality 124 so it would be impossible absolutely impossible for us to make a worse pick so i think what we're going to do is we're going to try to make another iron pickaxe uh, because the higher quality the iron tools you have the more metal you save on repairs uh, because they do more damage, so they take fewer hits to break blocks, and they last longer. So, there's there's no reason not to do this. Oh, we'll take a stick, too, because I'm a goof. Right. Uh, pick. Iron pickaxe. Come on, no whammies. Ah, there it is. Look at that. 205 quality. Beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. Now let's scrap this bad boy. And that gets us two iron ingots back that's not bad it took three iron ingots to make it but you know so we lose some but that's not bad at all so we got an iron pick that's awesome and actually staring at the scrap metal uh what i'm gonna do is right before i go i'm gonna upgrade the spikes around here or upgrade some more spikes around here so that they have uh metal tips on them that way they do a little more damage when the horde comes Okay, I just gotta say, the the mining helmet we found is so much better, because there's no way I could see what I was doing in here, and it just, wow, it really helps. I mean, you turn it off, you can't even see what you're doing, you can't see what you're trying to hit, but it looks like we've got some iron ore right here, and some gravel. I'm taking care of the gravel first, because I don't want to die, because gravel charges you, and it kills you, and it's bad. This tunnel isn't anywhere close to being mined out. Uh, there's still so much more to get and man it is hard to get in and out but i just wanted to check in with you guys and show you tell you a couple things one we hit the mother load i've got 26 iron ore each of those iron ore can get us 12 scrap metal or two iron ingots so that is a ton of iron and that's amazing that's that's going to help a lot now, and we also picked up some coal, some lead, and some potassium nitrate for for bullets, eventually. We haven't gotten nearly as far along the, the gun path as I as I had hoped. Now, it's, it's coming up on six, and I need to get out of here. Because one thing I kind of spaced out about is that uh, we're really close to day 14, and that's a that's a day that's divisible by seven that means a seven day horde and uh i i gotta get out of here and kind of get ready because and actually the the journey home could be a little dangerous because i i couldn't tell from the forums about the dog hordes if they come every sixth day which would be today or if they came before the day before each day seven horde so you know on the 13th on the 20th or if it's the 12th the 18th whatever so i don't know so the the journey home could be kind of could be kind of dangerous uh but i need to head that way i want to get smelting some of this iron oh this is great um so we're set i want to get some scrap metal to finish kind of putting together our base and then Oh, uh, it's this is gonna be pretty great. I'm I'm pretty excited. The the horde might kill us, but uh <laughs> but it's gonna be fun. Alright, now keep your fingers crossed for no zombie dogs. Day thirteen, and I still have no idea if 
the zombie dogs are programmed to come today or if that was going to be yesterday. Let's see how we're doing on the iron ingot front. Two. Evidently, we didn't have enough fuel in there. I could have swore I put enough fuel in there. Oh! I think I get it. Hey, you! Oh! <laughs> he snuck up on me! That was not cool! Okay, stop that. Okay, I keep hitting the wrong button. See, here's the problem. I've been playing a lot of uh, Mech Warrior online, and the mech I'm running currently... Oh, that was kind of funny. The mech I'm running currently, uh, you fire its main weapon with a right mouse click and when you do a right mouse click with your crossbow you get the sights and I am terrible with these sights and so I keep aiming down the sights when I mean to just shoot something in the head and it's not working I want to stay kind of close to home today uh, like I said I if there are zombie dogs I do not want to die way way far away uh, just because it's going to be hard to get the backpack back. Again, easy for, for me to say. I think that's... I said that last time, too, and that was kind of weird. So I think we're going to kind of explore around inside the town a little bit. Uh, a couple of places. There are a few houses and a few buildings we've never really gone into. But first, we got to plug up all the holes so people, so bad guys are less likely to hear us rooting around. Take that. Oh! That's kind of a jackpot. That'll get us 22 scrap iron. I'll take that. Well, we found ourselves a gun safe. That's good. Although we haven't had much luck with them. Really. I was hoping to find, like, an actual complete weapon. Like, maybe a pistol? I don't know. So, anyway, I'm gonna bang my way into this thing and then, uh... We'll see about the grand reveal. All right, the grand reveal. Ooh, good pistol parts. All right, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Uh, good hunting rifle barrel. This is all excellent. Uh, mediocre pistol parts. Oh, be a bolt. Oh, it's a hunting rifle bolt. Okay, we might... I think we could actually build a hunting rifle. Yeah, this totally isn't a serial killer's basement, after all. Man, this is Trey Creepy. Although I'm pretty sure there, when there's a uh, basement, there's probably something good behind that door. I really do like the stone axe. I really, really do. Alright, so what's in here? Totally not a serial killer's basement. <laughs> oh, that's gruesome. And another thing, they're working on something where a new type of zombie called uh, sleepers, I think. And basically what that's going to mean is every once in a while, those guys are going to wake up. And that's going to make me pee my pants. Okay. We hit the jackpot. A full, well, if broken, pistol. And actually, it looks like it's pretty bad quality. Uh, only 115 durability. But look at the hunting rifle. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. So yeah, so we gotta figure out <laughs> how we're gonna make room for all this. Alright, this was an awesome bit of exploration. I'm gonna finish uh, checking out this house, and then we're gonna go plant the heck out of this potato seed. Because I think that's gonna, that's gonna get us the game. I mean, I think it's, you, you get potatoes, and I think you pretty much win. I mean, it's like an automatic thing. So, yeah. There is a zomp. There he is. I've been listening to him for like two minutes trying to tear the crap out of this house. Evidently, I don't know what he's swinging at. Oh, man, that was tiring. Alright, I've got my inventory sorted out. And now I'm back to doing a little bit more exploring. It's 7 o'clock. We've only got three hours. 
So I think I need to move quickly. I think we're going to try to do this one. It's got a basement, which usually means some kind of uh, zombie right there. Up, oh, see, there it goes. Right clicking the wrong thing. There we go. Okay, there's just somebody breaking down the back door anyway, so. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Ooh, and he falls down the stairs. Gunpowder will take. Okay, so this house was a bit, bit of a bust, so we need to get out of here and get ready for nightfall because come tomorrow evening, I'm guessing now, since I was way off last time, uh, we're going to have the horde. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> See, you shouldn't be quiet. You should growl. Uh, nobody needs paper. Let's get let's get to our base before we get mauled to death. Because the last time the zombie dogs came, it was at night. So I had better hurry. <laughs> I hear the dog hordes. They're sniffing around up there, and one just found my. Uh... <laughs> they're they're finding the spikes. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. It's the dawn of a new day, and that day happens to be day 14. So we're expecting a seven-day horde that should be worse than the one we got on day seven. Although, I have to say, I don't think I'm going to get there this episode. Uh, unless it comes early, I just, I just don't think it's going to happen. But what we need to do is we need to get some more stuff out of our forge and we need to get some concrete going in our forge. And then we need to do a little more exploring as well. Because uh, we're doing pretty well. The exploring we did uh, in the game day yesterday all seemed to work out pretty well. We got a pistol out of it uh, and I was able to, to use some parts from some random part, pistol parts I'd found. So we've got a working pistol, but we just, we only have 16 bullets for it. And 16 bullets ain't going to do it. I, it's not even worth, like, using at this point. So, problem being, I don't know how to make bullet casings. And I don't know how to make uh, bullet tips. I don't, I haven't found the... Uh, the right stuff yet so certainly for this horde we're relying on all right we are relying on uh my the the cross the trusty crossbow yes yet again all right we're well cool we got our our first set of concrete the making concrete is rather complicated in this game uh but we've got eight concrete blocks so yeah it's good we're we're, we're doing well um, let's see, put this there, don't want to wander off with that. Alright, let's go hit up over here, because I think we might have a couple of leather strips and we can go ahead and make our new crossbow. Then we'll get on with the exploring. I just, <laughs> I'm in a crafting mood evidently. We got no strips, no, oh, we can make... We can make our own leather strips now. Let's see. Leather strips. There we go. All right, come on, no whammies. There it is. 214. We'll take it. Can we scrap this for anything? No, we can't. All right, so we'll just do that. And then... We'll put these kids back in here. This stuff I think we'll just craft back into pipes. Alrighty. Let's do some more exploring before we get mauled to death tonight. <laughs> we found ourselves another gun safe. And once again, I don't... <laughs> it takes forever to break into these things. So I'll catch back up with you guys. All right, let's hope this one is as good as the last couple have been. 
Oh, fail boat. Stocks. See, the problem with stocks, you can't even... Like, you can't even break them down. They don't scrap. <sighs> Alright, well, that was sad. And I think we've got one of these already. We'll hold on to it, just in case, and then we'll scrap it if it turns out we've got something better back at the base. Alrighty. So, let's get upstairs and see what we see. Because we haven't even checked the kitchen yet. Alright, I'm just going to throw this out there. We've been wandering around in the same pair of faulty plant fiber pants that I think we made on day one. And we finally found something a little bit better. So I'm actually going to repair this first, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll get everything in. So let's see. We need some cloth to repair these bad boys. There we go. You we can scrap. There we go. And I don't think the plant fiber pants are gonna scrap at all. Look at us. Aren't we sexy? We're just we're we're adorable. Yep, can't do nothing with plant fiber pants. Alright. Anyway. Back to the exploration. As far as houses go, I've looted better, I think. Which is, if this wasn't a game, that would be a completely horrible thing to say. <sighs> Alright, we're going to keep looking, though. Did I make it in here? I don't know. Uh, looks like the zombies did, at least. Bomb in and, ca and check it out, I think. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I've already been here. But hey, we got stuff we can take. Else. Don't need that. We'll take that. No. Alright, well, the uh, the searching hasn't gone super duper well. Ooh, that's been untouched. Scrap lead, we'll take it. Come on, there we go. It's really hard to throw just throw things away from your inventory. It's kind of odd. Yeah, this is all stuff we would have passed. Oh, a jacket! Baller! Awesome! Now, okay, we gotta see how cool I look. Let's check me out. Oh, yeah, look at the... Look at the sexiness. Look at it. Oh, yeah, you know... <laughs> I can't help it if I'm a fashion icon. Don't judge me. Ooh, hey. Bunch of stuff to scrap and coffee. Blood draw kit. Very odd. Oh, well, let's... We got some stuff to scrap first, I think. Your axe. There we go. And a blood draw kit. Untouched. Oh, we'll take that too. Very cool. Alright. Take the scrap lead. Wow, roofs usually have something a little better on them. All right. Oh, well, let's see. We've got a pretty full inventory right now. Uh, to wit. Yeah, fairly full. So I think I'm actually going to take this here. We do want to plant those on our way back. There's, they're just wasting our time if they're not growing. So, alrighty. Time to make like a tree and get out of here. Ooh, that was a silly move, leaving that open. Beer and a glass jar. Very nice. Okay, you guys, it's been a, a good, well, at least half day so far of resource gathering. I've got another pretty full inventory. I found some shotgun shells, more 
bullets. Huh. No, you can only 17 at a time. 10, 9. Oh, I... Really? Really, I guess. I have no idea which goes with which. I don't know anything about guns. But uh, anyway, looking at the rest. Shells, we found another hunting rifle. Let's just see what's in there. Yeah, a bunch of totally busted out parts. Okay, yeah, we're just going to scrap all of it. Because... There's no reason not to. Let's get rid of the stock. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So we didn't need... <laughs> we've got a good rifle. We don't need a terrible one. But we could always use the scrap metal. And we've done really well with the scrap iron. We've got 91, and that's just... That's pretty darn sweet. So it's been, it's been some good resource gathering, and... We got the horde coming up, but I don't think, yeah. Well, actually, I know. I am out of time to record this week. Uh, so, anyway, thanks, guys, for, for tuning into this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, early on the next episode, man, we're taking on the f Day 14 horde. It's going to be awesome. I hope you guys check it out. Uh, and if you enjoyed this episode, click that like button. That would be super awesome. I really appreciate it. I really want to know. And also, please, please, please throw some comments down in the uh, comment section. I want to know what you guys want to think. Let me know what, what you guys think. Let me know what you like most, what you want to see more of. That's that. All of that's very excellent. So thank you guys again. And we'll talk to you next time.